Hello and welcome to Let's Play WoW. This is VJ Etnis with the Infernal Sheep. Today I'm just going to cover something a uh, little useful for um, other hunters like myself. Uh, I had a guild mate recently complain that their moth wasn't very useful. As you can see, I'm using a moth myself. You know, I personally like having the flying pets uh, usually either go for an owl, a bat, or a moth, or something. Um, but anyway, it said it died very often. And the reason for that is because you probably didn't specialize your moth to your play style. And I'm going to teach you how to do that. Just saying hello to one of my guildmates right here, somebody that I'm actually speaking to about roleplay. Uh, you probably saw that in my last video. Um, we're coming up with a little bit of a roleplay ideas in our guild. So, yes, I'm a role player. Anyway, if you can see, I hit the end key and I brought up our specializations. In the specializations, you have your beast mastery, your marksman, and your survival. You choose whichever one you want. I go for beast mastery just because I like to make my pets as badass as possible. I'm more of a PVE type of person. However, my um, secondary ability will probably be marksman uh, to pick up my damage uh, where I'm lacking for uh, my pets being the main thing that I'm using. So, anyway, what you want to do is you look at the bottom, you see pet tab and specialization tab. Let's go to the pet tab. As you can see right here, I'm already tenacity. That's what I chose to be because in tenacity, your pet is a tank. They can withstand a lot of things. Your pet temporarily gains 30% of its maximum health. That's an instant ability. Uh, you can see it right here. You can click that and if you're ever in a rough situation. It has a charge. Everybody loves charge. It gets thunderstomp later, uh, which shakes the ground with thundering force doing 9 nature damage to all enemies within 8 yards. Of course, it's going to increase as my pet's level goes. This ability causes a moderate, moderate amount of additional threat. Blood of the Rhino increases all healing effects on your pet by 40%, increasing your pet's armor by 20%, and reduces your pet's chance to be critical hit by melee attacks by 6%. That's a passive ability, so that's always active. That's very handy. Great Stamina increases your pet's total health by 12%. And then Combat Experience increases all damage done by your pet by 50%. All of this stuff, very useful. Makes your pet almost indestructible. Of course, it's not fully indestructible, but almost is good enough. Um, since it keeps all the attention off of you with all this aggro building things, I'd say it's uh, pretty good to use. If you decide that you want cunning or ferocity instead, don't expect it to hold the attention off of you. Um, it's just not going to happen. The best thing for those is for dungeon use. If you're going to use it, make sure you turn off your growl. Growl is going to steal aggro, and we don't want to do that from the tank. That usually makes people very angry at hunters, and that's what gave us the nickname Huntards. Don't be a Huntard. Anyway, if you notice, it's got the little learn um, button highlighted, but on here it doesn't because I already have this one. Anyway, for those lazy hunters like me for PvE, choose Tenacity. It'll make your pet so much stronger. Anyway, this is VJ Etnis. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please feel free to leave them in the comment box. I'll uh, get to them as soon as I can. Other than that, have a great night.